I'm so sorry, but I have the roll 20 hey, open. That's the only oh, thing I have to have. Hey, <laughs> it's so sorry. <laughs> I had already clicked the button. Hi, everybody. Um, hi, everybody. Yeah, uh, yeah, Kitty, yeah, you do want to get the roll 20 open. I didn't realize that you weren't open. So anyways, if y'all couldn't tell, yeah, today's the, the quiet year day. <laughs> hi, Lunar. <laughs> Hi, Lunar. Kitty tried to stop Hello. me. She How tried to stop me before I clicked, but it was too late. I had clicked you it. You couldn't. <laughs> you couldn't be stopped, Karen. Nope. We bet no. we know stopping. better. We can't. We can't stop Karen when she's ready to nope. stream. It's time. It was time. Kendra said to go, and so I just was like, "Okay, let's go." It was fine. <laughs> oh, sure. I, let's blend. Let's blend. I wasn't looking. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm fine. We could do that. That's yes. not going to bother me at all. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Kitty, you do want to get into the roll twenty, right? Do you? Do you I need am yes. Okay. No, I just making link... sure that was the only thing for now. Yeah, the link the is in the Discord chat for this, for that game. I yeah. don't see you in our game yet. Yeah, oh, I don't okay. see you yet either. Yeah. Oh my. I see yeah, pacing me... though in front of my face for the text, Kendra. Is that what I'm supposed to see? No, you don't need to see anything. Um, okay, that I'm was gonna because close this. I was panic sharing everything to you guys because okay. I thought I'm you gonna see anything. I'm gonna close all these windows. Oh my god, there's many windows. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my gosh, yep. Jane on stream and in the chat. The heck? By the I way, know. you guys, Jane's beautiful debut on the stream. You have heard her voice before, but now now she's here. Um, we've got the whole crew here today. We've got we've got yeah. the Landon, we've got the Jane, we've got the Kitty, we've got the Kendra, we've got we got everybody. We've got everybody. Everybody's here. I can't believe it. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun. Mm -hmm. This is also like a Kitty Landon reunion for me. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's been ages. It has, it has been ages. It's, ha I, it's been I stock, super ages since I all four of us. the group us. chat. Yeah. <laughs> it's been super yeah. ages since all five of us have been able to get together for something, hasn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. been a little bit ridiculous, but mm -hmm. that's okay. It's, We're here now. It's, it's almost going like to be fun. People in this in this group decided to go have lives and like especially have children or oh something God. like that yeah, yeah that was a surprise <laughs> yeah last time i talked to kitty and landon i feel like i wasn't even pregnant no i yeah. don't think so <laughs> i don't think you were yet yeah. all right you guys um it's so Ken kendra is actually hosting today what we're doing so before oh, i show generous. everybody this this lovely spread that we've got going here kendra can you just explain to the peoples a little bit about what this is that we're doing okay so today we're going to be playing a game of the quiet year by avery adler i think is how you say your last name it is this amazing map building game where we are going to build a community that has that's trying to have just one good quiet year before the frost shepherds come so each turn is a year and with every prompt whatever we do whatever we decide it's going to be drawn on the map it's just gonna be fun we're gonna go we're gonna have some crazy stuff happen it's gonna be drawn I'm on the sure. map very poorly but it'll be drawn oh on the okay map. jay that, that will come up in the directions all right yeah. look I, at a hundred percent uh kendra sent something into the group chat that was like this will not be our aesthetic and i was like i think that that might be close to our aesthetic because <laughs> no, I'm no, not no, sure. no 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 i said there is no way <laughs> there is no way in god's green earth this is going to be an aesthetic oh my god oh oh okay i read no. it and i thought you i was like "Ooh, this is, this no, is where we're no, going no no. <laughs> no 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 we are ms paint drawing right now because uh we're all drawing in the roll 20 screen with our mice mouse i actually stayed up all night practicing so i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> thank you so it's much for not going Lunar. to be aesthetic. i'm doing we're getting a minute of bubbles to start us off right now and then i'll switch over Yay. and everybody can see um our, our beautiful drawing that we've got started so far it's there's not much there yet but it's going to grow yeah well uh, it will grow Hell yeah, so essentially <laughs> what has happened is there is a community in the wake of some post-apocalyptic world shattering event. And they are just trying to build something in their one quiet year. Alexa, set timer for one minute. <laughs> Bubbles. <laughs> well, that's really setting this off on the right tone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It yeah. is, it is though. Uh, I, Jane, I was going through this with Jane yesterday and she looked at the chat and she said, are all these people playing? Yeah, she goes, oh, no, I'm going to be the only happy person here. <laughs> because 
our role is going to be basically um, detached gods providing obstacles for this community. It's 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 perfect. so good. It's so cool. Yes. I had no idea that games could be this. I had no idea that stories could be this. But it's awesome. I'm so excited. yes. I I I'm I'm already like feeling the vibe. I love this. I love this so much. Okay, everybody can see the the screen now. Um, uh, Kendra, why don't you just get us started while I play with bubbles? Okay. <laughs> Please play with bubbles. Uh, but okay. I am deleting you. You are deleted. Alexa, stop. <laughs> My art book deleted? Yeah, weird. Wow. Uh, here we go. So what this is, the book is so cute. I love this game. It's done with such love. Uh, essentially, this is a map drawing game. Together, we play as a community rebuilding after the collapse of civilization. Your decisions will define the values and future of this community, and these decisions will get added to the map, which is constantly evolving. The map blends literal cartography with symbols, creating a rich visual record of land and people. Players collaborate to steer the fate of the community, while also introducing problems and tensions along the way. So, we have our map. It is here. It's this beautiful thing. So we want any unnecessary distractions out of the way. Got it. I also messaged everyone saying you might want a notepad by you. Because oh, when yeah, a character good shows up. When a character shows up, and they probably will, there are cards, there are prompts that say, you know, a person comes in and does this. When that happens, we will want to name them. Every character should be named. Yay, notebooks. Yeah, I just have a little... I just pulled up a notepad on my computer. Lunar is going to be the necessary distraction for us. Thank you, Lunar. They say don't have I one, but I, I disagree. I think we should have as many distractions as possible. How else do you uh, play I think a TTRPG? Lunar... <laughs> right? Um, I think we're all the necessary distractions. I don't know. I haven't been in this. I was about to say, I haven't been in this with this many neurodivergent people in a while. And <laughs> I figured that that was actually a lie. I <laughs> I'm a classroom teacher, but I was like, yesterday at work, <laughs> right? You know what I do. Okay, here we go. So essentially, we're going to go through each suit and a deck of cards is one season. We go through spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And in winter, the game can end at any point. Once we draw the Frost Shepherd card, the game's over. That can be the first card of winter. That can be whatever. Each deck is shuffled. We don't know what we're going to pull. And once that card is pulled, the game is over. Nothing wraps up. Nothing finishes. That's it. Doesn't matter where we're at in the story. It's just done. Pencils down. That's it. It's, I'm just... I thought you were telling me to put my pencil down, and I immediately listened to no. you. I was writing. <laughs> I thought you got me. No, it's like, oh, yeah, hey, okay, pencils down. It, hands up, pencils down. Mom, so do, we, over. do we know what the, these frost giants are? Like you kind nope. of alluded to the idea that we wanted one you fight here. Okay. So we don't know we we're don't going know. to be obliterated or whatever. No, happens. nobody knows. All it's right. just we are rebuilding. All right. Our role. Uh, when we play the quiet year, we don't control specific characters or act out scenes. Probably. It's us. Instead, we all act as abstract social forces within the community. Generally, we're going to be taking a bird's eye view, but we will be zooming in on specific things, especially when we choose to hold a discussion on a turn. Uh, this is a story about social forces and their impact on the land, rather than being about specific individuals, mostly. At the same time we're playing as the community, we're also looking for opportunities to introduce new and interesting challenges to the story. <laughs> it's our job to make sure that there are always difficult decisions to be made and uncertainties to be explored. As we introduce interesting challenges for the community and then figure out how to address them, tensions will emerge that ultimately reveal the character and future of our community. I can't wait to make life super hard for all these people. <laughs> right i'm, I'm gonna save so, everyone i want it to be the, nice i want it to be nice for them I'm well we so already have our good we have... god and our evil god nice yeah. <laughs> yes 
I know I'm looking at the roster, guys. I'm their only hope. <laughs> So. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. So, excuse you. I feel like I feel like Kitty is also pretty. Um... Exactly. Kitty is there too. Yeah. So, is I mean, is that's my motto. Kitty two. is there. Okay. <laughs> She's a hundred percent there. She's a good person. <laughs> it's Karen and I that we have to worry about. To worry about say, here. What, what is Landon's motto again? Something about torment. Somebody <laughs> type it. Exclamation. Okay, I know. Landon. Uh, if you I'm make them it. cry, they'll love you more. Or something it's, like that. And yet, it has not failed it's true. Me, so. I mean, Weird. have y'all seen when it's just me and Landon on stream? It's just like me saying whatever <laughs> batshit thing I can to make her have a big reaction. It's, you know, and I know she likes so it. Good. So, it's so good. <laughs> Listen, Karen is going to be the lawful evil god. I'm going to be the spiteful one. Oh, I'm I love it. Like, oh, this is I'm actually our land that we, that I, you walked on and I didn't like that you crushed that daisy. So fuck you and your water sources. <laughs> that I'm could happen, actually. Fairy. <laughs> You're okay. Be the tooth fairy. I love this. Yes. In a traditional game of the quiet year, we would all go around and be like, oh, well, how about we set up this type of setting? And if we let we're left to our own devices for that, I, the cool thing about this game is it doesn't require prep. I told everybody I did like a little bit of prep. This is the prep. Um, I have a premise for us because otherwise we'll be here forever. And we will never, ever, ever get started. So the premise here, and it, like, yeah, say no. If you want to say no, that's okay. You can say no. But the premise here is traditional fantasy Dungeons and Dragons world, right? The old gods woke up. They woke up. These gods, nobody said their name in like five generations. No one's heard of them. They woke up and it destabilized the world physically. So mountains rose, crashed. Deserts got lifted up and placed elsewhere. Somebody took the snow globe and shook it, broke it, and now the pieces have fallen. So I'm anticipating probably what community we're looking at is a mixture of two different communities that were lifted half of and merged together. Sound, sound good? Sounds dope. I'm okay. here for it. Yeah. As long as I don't need to know any D and D lore, I'm you don't in. need to know any D and D lore. I just mean like for the vibes. Okay, like you think of D and D, you think of swords and knights and bird people and high fantasy. And, yes. Okay, got it. And, and fun, cat and people too. Family. We have to have cat people because Jane is here. It's of true. Course. It's true. We have to have cat love, people. Love good tabaxis. Can I um, yes. counter with bug people? You can everyone... have bug people. I just I think don't want people. anybody freaked out. I know I, I know Bobby doesn't do spiders. I'm cool with bug people. I might important question. Yes. Uh does magic exist or can magic be wielded by our people in yeah. this world or is the magic system broken? I say let magic happen. Let okay. magic happen. Sweet. Let, let magic happen. Landon's asking the real questions, and I feel yes. really, really excited about you guys are going to do most of the fun part for me, and I'm going to have a blast. So I love that <laughs> that's what you think is going to happen. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to go around, and we are each going to pick one thing that should be on the map. It's going to be <laughs> as simple and vague as, hey, there's a mountain range over here, mm. or as granular as this is the mayor's house. For a timeline on this big shift, I think three weeks after, probably. So like it's settled. People know like nothing's moving anymore. Now we have to start figuring out how we're going to rebuild. Um, in terms so everybody of gets one feature. Okay, what in terms order of are the we going scale for an of the map? In? Oh, mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Go sorry. ahead. I was going to say, in terms of the scale of the map, how far out are we looking? Are we looking like twenty in a twenty mile radius, or are we looking like which is about a day's walk, or are we? Yeah, in... I was about to say, can you walk twenty miles in a day? Yes, I, it's a yeah. it's a long cool. day. You can't yeah, walk. It's a long miles day, back, but yeah, it's a, that's... like a one day walk. Yeah, it's okay. like a big town thing. Like I couldn't walk my whole town in a day, but the map of my town. Okay, the map this size. Okay, got it. Got it. Is there a list, or do we make up what we think is smart? You can make up what you think is smart. So I will go first. 
And I am, and whatever we say, we have to draw on the map. It does mm. not have to be a good drawing. It will not be a good drawing. So don't worry about it. But whatever we say, we are going to reflect on the map. And don't, I am going to say, fun. yeah, don't, if. Um, we want to roll to see is the there, order. Yeah, do we, can we do a turn order roll, an initiative roll? Ooh. You can do that. Um, I was going to go by our little names on the bottom of my screen. Oh, okay. uh, they're all in different order. Yeah. Uh, uh, on mine, they're not. <laughs> well, we can I just go in Kendra's. They're alphabetical, but it's fine. You all, st- you all have the same spot. Kendra's order, or do we want to roll initiative? If you roll initiative, I will rearrange your names on the bottom of my screen. Okay. So Let, how, how do I roll in this up. thing? Is it just slash roll? Uh, you're not the yes. GM, so you cannot roll. What? You can what? roll. Okay, so you can roll. So if you go things. down, if you go to the dice on the left hand side, mm-hmm. that little polygon oh, shape, yeah, just you can roll a d twenty. Just click that d twenty. Fourteen. Perfect. So everybody, go over and roll. Wait, I don't see hey, a dice. Jane. 13 and I 13. don't know where my roll appeared, but I did yeah. it. It's in the chat. You did it. Uh, it, you did it's it. In the chat. Oh, um. On the it's... left hand, on the left hand side, Kitty. Yeah. On the very oh, okay. bottom, Kitty. there's something that looks like a dice. Yeah. Holy shit! We rolled really well. We we did. did that was like all my rolls. <laughs> uh, three people rolled thirteen. Yeah, we so. all have to re-roll. Yep. Okay, so. <gasps> so Landon goes first. Oh. Wow, Real. Kendra. Well, Kendra, you go first anyway because you're go a first as, DM. I will go first. So it is. Me and then Landon. Oh, come on, move. All right, I'm writing uh, this down. And then Jane, and then Kitty, and then, and then Karen. And then me. Okay. And then Karen. Thank you. I feel acclimated to the tabletop now that I know the turn <laughs> order and we rolled initiative. Yes. Okay. All right. So I am going to say that up in the north what are my cardinal never eat shredded okay up in the northwest there is the i don't want it can we add okay. a covers rose hold on shredded that. shredded yes. what because shredded my wheat never waffles. eat shredded wheat yeah I never eat sour watermelon people never no. eat soggy waffles what is wrong with you people <laughs> apparently everything <laughs> soggy waffles is one i've never heard before so this does this is not going to be to scale but up in the corner there uh, there is like a Mar. Ha- has everybody played Mario Galaxy? Yes. Um, there's Probably. like a little Mario Galaxy thing of like a land bridge up way high in the sky, like, like the Rainbow Galaxy Bridge. Uh, yeah. Or when you go and you can walk like all around the planet, and you there's this so- strip of. It's like a Halo too, if you know that ge- that game. Is yeah. it like a ring, Rings of Saturn, but like yeah, Earth but you can walk and... on it. Yeah, it's like yeah. a I big okay. thing of Earth, like a big tube of Earth is just up you. in the sky, way up there. How um, okay? Well, and that's trees really are growing upside tone. down. Trees are growing up. Uh, you, could, if you were to walk on it, you would end up being upside down, but still held to that specific part of the land by gravity. It's like a log of cookie dough. Yeah. Just yes. In the sky. Yes. All right. So that's over here. Is it rotating? Is that what you said? Nope. It's nope. Just- it's just there. You could walk all the way around it without falling off. You could walk on the underside. So instead of above you, it holds its own gravity. Yeah. I like it. A- I like above it. you is the real earth below you. Okay. So it holds its own gravity. That's over and there. It is, and it is rotating at the exact same speed as the planet. So it never moves. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's just there in the sky. So now Landon. Um, beyond, actually, I want to do to the south east. There is a blighted piece of land, uh, that everything in it is uh, black and white 
and uh, nothing can grow within it. And if you spend time in that area, uh, you grow weaker. Great. Cool. Awesome. So jail. Right. Yeah. That probably that's, that's is where the, where the jail, jail is. Is. Yeah. <laughs> is it okay. my turn? I'm going real. Fantastic. It is Jane's turn now. I'm going real generic because you guys are being so fancy. Um, there fun. is, of course, a river. Good. You know we that I got a river. It's uh, quite a big river. She's thick. And she like goes up on your little cookie dough thing. Does it like does it waterfall off of the cookie dough thing? Yep, yep. Oh, that's cool. And then I it, love that. it can like start flowing with its gravity when it gets up there, you know. Um, and it so also if a salmon were to jump it, would the gravity reverse halfway through the salmon's jump? Actually, the salmon would just turn <laughs> inside out. That's oh, good. Book. Okay, it's not advised. Salmon know that. Okay. <laughs> um, I... And it it forks as well. Okay. Awesome. Um, it's going to be called Blight River to go with Landon's thing. Blight River? Yeah, it flows out of the Blight at some point, we think. It's on the opposite end of the map. Yeah, and we just assume that at some point it came out of the Blight. Why? Because <laughs> uh, the water has no color. Uh, oh, so it's and not everything's a bl black oh. and white, you know? Yeah? Oh. Yeah? Thanks for asking so the follow-up questions. You're welcome. Um, so that's not a freshwater source, then it sounds like. Like I said, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No. So I was going to say, were we supposed to set up for success in this? Because so far, <laughs> no worry. I'm and going. I'm Jane, going last. If we have, Jane if I have to, to save you all, guy. if I have you to save you all, I will. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's hey, a alpha tip. water processing. We can figure out how to process the water. Yeah, later. don't worry. That I my too. my idea that I already had before we even started the round will totally work. Still, don't worry. I'm just telling okay. you, don't panic. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Kitty, what would you like to put? Um, I would like to say first that there's definitely religion around the salmon at this point, and there's some tramp stamp salmons all we over will this get, place. We will get to that. <laughs> that will come up, I promise. Kitty, I like that you gave a shout out to the salmon. I appreciate that. Um, my idea, I wasn't sure if we were going for a geographical thing. I was going to say like a you waste management plant. But right. um, maybe there's no, just like we also a... it's anything. It's geographic and it's also, you know, what the community inhabits. Like it can okay. be something like that. Do we wanna have like a plant that people can work at, or do we wanna have like a cavern that is just blackness that you could just throw trash in and we don't know it just disappears, it's fine. Ooh. I kinda like the second Start one. there. <laughs> Start okay. there. <laughs> yeah. start there the the work and everything that people do that will come up all right we'll do well i don't know what i thought Cookie it was making a shape boy, yes what i don't know what i just did are you pressing and holding a little bit i'll just Landon do is. i'll just do a circle oh, oh sorry that was me that, i can't, this, I can't this, see this the purple zoom all right, I'll do it. Uh, we'll we'll do it next to the blight. If if you can't get your st stuff together in jail, you're going in the void. Oh, that's where we're at. Okay, so these are <laughs> these are the balls, Good. I guess, because they're the juicy. the balls. Yeah, the, the balls. <laughs> uh, so this is <laughs> yep. the blight, and then the void. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> yes. How awesome. do I fill it in? I the void is oh, in the oh when you drew it you have to you have to have it filled in so uh there are two colors um like if you hit the circle there's two colors there's like a gray and a or whatever oh, colors there are yeah. you have to have them oh. both one of them has to be filled in in order for you to draw oh dang it you can redraw it yeah just yeah. can you she delete totally. it and redraw it is there a delete option yeah yep okay yeah if uh you go to the select air so the arrow up at the top there you can Oh, select move. I see it. Yeah. Uh, Ta -da. I didn't. I did. Okay. Thank you so much. 
I, okay. I did your little one. I'm having a hard time getting <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Thank you for the applause. We all need it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're doing great, guys. We I'm are like so building, excited. We're by building so our far. talent for success. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, Kitty was like, hey, can we do something to help them? And then create the void. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I love this. That's great. I this is what amazing. I was talking about. You guys are <laughs> you are, so, this, this, is is just, so this is just the map. We haven't even gotten into what the people are facing. You, Jane, you don't get to say that. You're the one no. who was like, hey, here's a river. That could be helpful, except for the fact that the salmon jump out of it because they know <laughs> Yeah, so Jane, with it. I would like to just yeah, <laughs> circle back. Hey, hold on. <laughs> the salmon just don't go to Cookie Dough Island, okay? They <laughs> they just don't go to this colorless part of the river. That's fine. Okay, Karen, what would you Okay, my turn to save all you crazies. Would I'm you gonna like to put it. Something... Okay, so I actually had this idea before y'all made chaos, um, I... and I'm just gonna defend to defend this a little bit. But anyways, here's what it is. So again, we've got a lot of like religious stuff going on here, and we've got like some uh -huh. craziness in regards to our water situation. So here's what we have in the sort of like cultural middle of the town like not the center center but like the cultural center so we'll say up here okay. we have um this little it's called the wishing well and the reason why it's called the wishing well is because when they take water from the blighted river and put it into this well it is now drinkable water it's made with very special bricks that come from a part of the world that is very far away so these are irreplaceable bricks that give the well its magic it was made multiple generations ago so there is all of this kind of like lore and symbolism and religiosity around the well and so that is typically where the people will go for the holidays like if they have like a trick-or-treating type of tradition i mean we just had halloween so that's what's on my mind so they karen would all gather is around setting the well. up the, the second apocalypse is what karen yes exactly. is making a target yeah on the map uh -huh. for us of okay yeah <laughs> thank you Kendra that's, that's exactly what I was doing center. I'm trying yeah, to see my I'm thought trying to introduce some conflict here okay I'm just trying to introduce some conflict it's it's about about exactly okay. <laughs> because <that's> fine <laughs> okay that's which great. mafia family owns the rights to this territory now <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. That's a card. Can't that wait. That is a card that can be drawn. Okay, so next, we will each name an important resource for the community. Something we might have in abundance or scarcity. We're not going to draw it right away. Some examples include clean drinking water, adequate shelter, fish. Choosing a resource makes it important. If you pick gasoline, it becomes something our community wants and needs. It's so. not fish because it's not fish. Are we, are we allowed to add? But. Are we allowed to add like lore to? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try something, and if we hate it, then we can say no to it. Okay, okay. I'm so so we're not now. going we're to like lunar nervous, you guys. <laughs> we're not going to dive deep into the behind the things right now. We're not going to dive deep into if it's an abundance or a scarcity. It's just things okay. we think are going to be important to this community. Mm. So, okay. keeping that same turn order, I am going to say that uh, housing is important. Looking at this, we don't have anything on the map right now for people. They live in so, sleeping housing. bags under the stars. <laughs> they could, oh but you that's a resource that we know. I'm sorry I, that yeah, I did somebody that did. I'm not. It, I, it was either going to be Mario Walkway or Cookie Dough Walkway. I didn't know which one <laughs> was better. <laughs> I like Cookie Dough better. <laughs> so housing is a resource that I think should be important to the community. So Landon, what resource are you thinking of? Oh, we'll do food. Food. Okay. Same. Wait, what kind of food though? Like, shouldn't we be a bit more specific? Like, are these people? We can. Am I? Am I allowed to be? I was gonna say like things to hunt. Okay, oh, so okay. meat, so, game, game, or game. that they hunt. Cool. Game will be important. protein. Great. So we have shelter, 
shelter. I'm honestly kind of nervous that that's all Landon said. Like, I feel like there's a game. In the I game oh, I have an idea. I, but yeah, like, you believe me. Yet. Okay, all right. <laughs> we'll get there. Is it my okay? Turn? Jane, yes. Clay. 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 Purple clay, to be specific. Purple. Yeah. Okay. Does it come Kitty. from? Does it come from the blight or the void or something like that? That would be it's, pretty cool. It's in pockets all over the place. So when okay. we run out of the one, we'll get it. We'll get that's it. accessible. We can we can search for more kind of thing. Okay. Um, okay. Kitty. Does it have to be like realistic, or can it be a fantasy aspect? Ooh. It can be a fantasy aspect. You can have magic on here. You can have something as abstract as uh, safety or knowledge, Ooh. or it can be physical. Okay, I'm going to say familiars that are like helpful animals that can bond to you, but it's animals Pokemon like... style. So if you can't catch it, you're not meant to have it. Oh my gosh, this Which is, is so why they're great. Po- at we have Pokemon style beasts yeah. of burden and okay, pets. So I love Pokemon. it. <laughs> okay, great. Karen. Okay, um, I'm, just I feel, out. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to like look at what we have so far. Okay, we have so housing, far we have game, housing, game. Purple clay, Pokemon familiars. Okay, we've so... decided water is not an issue. <laughs> yeah, well, we have there we have the wishing, the wishing well. There's we the, have wishing the wishing well. So we don't need water as like a resource. We can yeah. assume that we always have water yes. so long as the wishing well or it's exists. Not, it's not foundational to our experience. Yeah, yeah, it's not something that we're going to be thinking about when we do projects. Yeah, discoveries. Okay. Um. So I think that. Uh, I think that our other resource is magic, and we magic. are using this magic to uh, to help with the capture of Pokemon. So maybe you need okay. to be, have some sort of magic proficiency to be able to capture Pokemon by like um by by way of other use a different name than Pokemon. <laughs> no, but I, I don't love like it. Pokemon. Okay, so familiars. like maybe because they're familiar. Okay, okay. <laughs> so maybe they're maybe like you can capture them like the normal way you would befriend any animal. But if you have some magic, you can befriend them a little bit easier and a little bit faster. What form okay. is this magic in? Dust? Air? I don't know. Mm-hmm. What do we think? What do we think? I kind of like the idea of Energy. glitter. Carrying glitter. around dust. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, glitter. Magic okay. dust. Magic we get dust. Those from, the purple, from the purple clay? That sounds harvestable. Well, wait, hold on. <laughs> we'll get there. Sorry. So, sorry. Now that we all have that, it's procedural at the start. This is all set up. We haven't gotten into the game yet. This is it, setting It's so up. hard for us to just set up, obviously. <laughs> I So th- here's the thing. Fun. Something I love about this game is that a lot of people use it to create their worlds that they're mm-hmm. going to play in. They create their world state for their homebrew games. I think, like, my dream someday when I'm able to role play again is going to be getting together with you guys, playing this game. And then having a server based off whatever. Yes. Because it's wild. Shit gets so wild. Okay. So now we get to choose one of these resources. What One resource, guys. One of them. <laughs> to be in abundance. What do we think is the most abundant resource on this list? I'd literally- the rest are going to be in scarcity. Hunting. The game? Yeah. The, the game. game. I think the yeah, game. Yeah. I because I there's there are some ideas. Towards, I lean yeah. towards the game or the purple clay should be our abundant resource, and the rest of these should be scarce resources. I, I like the purple clay being scarce because mm-hmm. it creates more projects to harvest and find it. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's what, I missed the purple clay? Did I miss it? I that was Jane. I said purple clay. That's it. Okay. No lore. That's we it. don't know what the purple clay does. We don't know why it's yep. special. It's just it just it just, it just is. It might not it's be a special. thing. They, they because use it for we've something named we don't it, know what yet. Yeah, because we've named it as a resource, it is special. The commun- okay. It is something that the community wants and needs. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. all the other things could tie together for scarcity. Like, not to go far yeah, in, I and think- I know that this oh. is not canon, but like the purple clay produces magic, which produces familiars. It also produces shelter. Having yeah. those things be all scarce while hunting is in abundance makes my brain make sense i'm team landon yeah i like yeah. this me too so landon draw a game on the map figure out how to put that on the map and then we can 
uh, I'm going to draw a little house where uh, a, a broken house. Everybody you, is going to draw their resource. When oh, okay. you mean um, drawing game, you mean like where the hunting lands is or where there is yeah. abundance or just that they're represented? Okay. Just that they're represented on the map. So I'm going to draw a little broken house. Because... Can I draw a purple clay in multiple areas? I... Like places yeah. where no purple clay is? Mm -hmm. But it is a scarcity right now. The only abundance yeah. is hunting. Got it. So right now I'm going to zoom. Um, I've got my map way zoomed out. So I'm going to have a little broken house right here. I know. Can we list all the resources again real quick? Yeah, yes. it's housing, yep. filter. game, purple clay, familiars, and magic dust. The familiars in the game is probably the same drawing, right? Or I think no. they're different. Uh, do we eat our familiars? I don't think we eat our familiars. I, think I don't think we eat our familiars I mean, either. If we have if we have game in abundance, I think we wouldn't. There wouldn't be any reason to. Yeah, yeah, I think okay. there's specific I think there are specific creatures that are familiars and specific creatures that are we use for hunting. That makes sense because that keeps it scarce. I forgot. Yeah. So I, I it's just like, you know, in the Pokemon discussions online, do they eat Pikachu? Like well, I they don't Pokemon. have animals except for in like two episodes of the anime. So in my exactly. opinion, they do. But we have I, both. I know, but but nobody wants to think about eating Pikachu. That's too <laughs> sad. <laughs> Oh, like there's a level of sentience there that just it like it gets so wild. So um, I put the put the magic dust along the cookie dough walkway. So to gather perfect. the gather the most magic dust, you have to find pockets of it on the cookie dough walkway. So that means we need to find a way up there. Right now we have no way up there. Mm -hmm. That that's that's a good project. I like that swimming. Good, good luck. <laughs> well, it turns salmon, salmon inside salmon out, so I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that that's the way to go. Okay. The salmon getting turned inside out is something that immediately left my mind. So that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, nope. That, uh, that stuck in my brain very clearly. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. So we can swim okay. in the Blighted River, and that's fine. Like, wash and stuff in there, as long as we don't go upstream. Probably. We no? That's my we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. No, yeah, we we'll find know. out. All yeah, right. I only made one large purple clay deposit, so it's scarce because That's... it's hard to mine that out of there. Yeah. Yeah? Is that all right? I mean, I only drew like one a... house, but because of the situation here, there's more than one house. But it's broken. It's just to show. So okay. all our resources, hunting, light, void, purple clay, where are our, where would we, where's one spot to find the familiars, Kitty? Um, I, I, well, I, we want to make it hard. So I wonder if it should be near the blight or maybe even in the blight and, and they don't get strong until they're out. Ooh. Which makes it hard to catch them because you Ooh. are weak while you're in there. So you well, have to go pull and I, them out of the blight. I love that because I put Draw the a little void. cat face in there. Yeah, I put the hunting lands huh. around the void. So it's huh. an idea, an interesting idea that like we're I, getting lots of creatures. I from love the void how things are getting and centralized <laughs> around and the balls. <laughs> you're like maybe they we need the a shaft creature. we need a shaft yes. to be near the balls because our shaft is all the way across the map from the balls this is a problem you guys <laughs> or maybe <laughs> no or you're me. welcome everybody is welcome for that i <laughs> saw them as similar. eyes i just want I, to make I, sure. I urge to i urge to draw a shaft i'm gonna make this happen <laughs> believe it somebody clip that somebody clip <laughs> i urge to make a shaft <laughs> I need Please. I actually also need that to be a meme and I need it on a shirt because I I'm think so, that, I that your face when you said it you were like I need your urge to draw a shaft I can't help you it you just stood up so you stood up so prim it was great I can't okay, help it so the Fujoshi inside of me in me is coming out I can't help it <laughs> so then Kitty if you want to take a little freehand thing mm -hmm. and draw a, a cat face or something somewhere on the map where your uh, familiars show up. You got it. 
And while you do that, I will. Jane, thank you. Jane, thank you. I'm going to talk over the song because every time YouTube hates when we play this clip, but I refuse to get rid of it because it's amazing. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. No, oh. it's okay. I love it. I, I could just get rid of it, but I refuse. <laughs> no. Okay. So going forward, while Katie's drawing her familiars, the week is what our turns are. So each week in our year is a turn taken by one player uh, with play moving down the line in our turn order. The other players are quiet audience members unless prompted otherwise. Probably not. We can be a peanut gallery, but we need to make sure that we are not holding a discussion. That is a separate function in this game. We can ask follow-up questions, which is what I did with the river unfortunately, for everybody involved <laughs> and for those poor salmon. So we can ask follow-up questions. We can tie things together. We can collaborate. But at the end of the day, the decisions are the player who drew the card. They make those choices. And once it gets on the map, it's not, it's not theirs. We are not going to be precious about the things on the map. It now belongs to everybody. So... Um, something that I think is very cute is weeks take an average of two to three minutes to complete. Sure Probably they do. Probably not. Yeah, right. Sure they do. I believe you. Probably not. not. At all. <laughs> um, not three for to us. seven minutes, maybe. Yeah. Not for us, at least. Shout out I, to Kitty's Kitty here. Look at that. I, I know, right? Kitty already has her familiar. I, um forgot that it's black and white in here so i'm just changing it to gray and black i saw you do that that's cute attention to detail is so appreciated Uh, i i know katie's great so each week back here oh you can't see her she's just maybe there are two of them maybe they're in color and everything else is black and white Ooh. Ooh. that is something that we will explore Okay. Okay. Sorry. All right. That is yeah, I'll be that quiet. I'm just kidding. This is why rounds won't take three minutes. Okay. Right. <laughs> we, yeah. None no, of us exactly. can shut the fuck up. It's, <laughs> no, uh, we can't because this is what we do. We write, <clears throat> we build. We are very used to collaborating, doing collaborative storytelling. Mm-hmm. Or I, I think that this is a really good introductory game into getting people into the idea of collaborative storytelling because it ends. You're not going to walk away from this before it's done. Like you might walk away from a one shot and then what come did, back for a couple sessions. Yeah. When I was asking, we were setting this up and I asked you, you were like two to four hours. I was like, oh, perfect. That's exactly the stream time, two to four hours. Yep. So mm-hmm. yeah. So uh, for anybody that wants to go so, home, that's how long it should take you. It's probably going to take us closer to the four because we can't shut up. Yeah. But it could take it, you as little as two will. hours. <laughs> it could. It could. We're it just, it depends on your hour people. In. Yeah. <laughs> It's fine. We have it started. It's fine. Um, it can take longer. Uh, if you listened to the Adventure Zones Ether Sea campaign, they took more than four hours to go through all the seasons. Mm. If you listen to when I first heard this, I heard it on Friends at the Table. They started their Marielda mini series with this. They made their map, half of them made the map, and then half of them played a different game in the map they took two hours ish roughly or eh, closer to three but it just it depends it varies it's fine so the week (laughs) follows three phase three phases in order we will play a card uh who the player will read the text aloud and resolve it bold text indicates that the card has specific I'll adjust the project dice. So when we start a project, the projects have timers. And I'll adjust those timers. Once the timers are adjusted, um, if any finish, we will resolve those. The player that started the project will tell us how they resolved. And at the very end, the active player will take an action. They can discover something new, hold a discussion, or start a project. Uh, just because this is who I am. So it's huh. all the card, read it, make your choice. Phase two, resolve all the stuff. Um, and phase three is that player gets to decide those three things, what happens. And the discussion, one of those three things. Okay. And yes. the discussion platform there would be like us working out the lore of something. And that's why you told us to shut the fuck up 
when it's somebody's turn because kind there's, of. there's a platform for what we want to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kind of. Here, I okay. will, I will yeah. pop, I will make, because I know us, I just made uh, hold a discussion rules pop up on everybody's screen. So another, so one of the three action types at the end of a turn is hold a discussion. You can choose to open with a question or a statement. Starting from you and going down the list, each player gets to weigh in once with a single statement of one to two sentences. Ooh. Opened with a question, you get to weigh in last. If you opened with a statement, that's it. You don't weigh in again. A discussion never results in a decision being made. Everyone weighs in and then it's over. This is how conversations work in communities. They are untidy and inconclusive affairs. Wow. It's important to stick to one to two sentences. If any of us feels like we have more to say on a topic, we can hold a discussion of, on it in another week. This Each game discussion came hard. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely yep. challenging for us, but also I'm it's, gonna it's about to get there all the time. So thank you for yes. providing a, a stimulating, challenging experience. <laughs> yeah, it, it gets oof. So each discussion is tied to a situation on the map. When the discussion ends, we can, you know, put a little dot to show that to show that we had the discussion. Some examples of discussions. If someone could say, should we strike back against the bikers? And then we go down the line at representing different parts of the community or a specific member of the community that gives their opinion. And then that's it. We don't. Nobody knows if we're going to strike back against the bikers. We just know how everybody feels about it. This is going to be so good for us. Mm-hmm. It is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we could use the old school bus as a sleeping area for the children. I think we need to stop wasting our energy trying to build fences and focus on building actual homes. Those are all things that could be a discussion. So that is one of the actions. The next action is discover something new. Uh, You can introduce a situation. It might be a problem, an opportunity, or a bit of both. Draw the situation on the map. Mine should be small and simple. Uh, This is, you know, meant to be in person, so smaller than an inch. That doesn't mean anything. We're in roll 20. Whenever things seem to be too controlled and easy, we could use this action to introduce new issues and dilemmas. When individual characters get named, we can record these names on an index card. Uh, I do love when things get a little too easy. We can right. add something new, <laughs> mm-hmm. knowing that I am a chaos demon that just wants <laughs> to continue to add something new, even though there's yeah. too much already to do. <laughs> so it's something as simple as there's a dried up well on the edge of town that we just found, or as loaded as a self declared prophet arrives. And then finally, the third option that we do on a turn is start a project. You choose a situation and declare what the community will do to resolve it. There is no agreeing or disagreeing. The community simply begins work. As a group, we will decide how long the project takes. Projects take anywhere from one to six weeks. Think about having a physical dice. Uh, We're a small community, but we can abstract these numbers a little bit. If a project would reasonably take Longer than six weeks to complete, it will have to be completed in stages. We'll place a project die on the map with the number showing how many weeks it takes to complete. For example, we're, we're, we will sacrifice a newborn the night of the full moon to appease the wind makers. Mm. Hopefully not. That's not a great project, but that is something that could happen. Sounds like a wonderful um, project. What are you talking about? This is the kind of world and, I want And to I will in. get into another. Uh, after this, we're going to talk about contempt tokens. <laughs> we're converting the abandoned mine shaft into cold food storage. We're going to build housing. We're going to start a mine. These are all projects. And they're going to be related to things that the community wants and needs, our resources that we mined out. Okay, so contempt tokens. If you ever feel like you weren't consulted or honored in a decision-making process, you can take a piece of contempt and place it in front of you. This is how we express disagreement or tension. These do absolutely nothing other than act as social signifiers. 
It doesn't matter how so that many we you don't have. launch into a discussion about it. We can just we can just say, "Hey, contempt." What do we? And what's our token? Do we just? I I'm just going to say like oh, I'm taking contempt and I'm marking it on my notepad. God, that sounds so negative. I will never say that to any of you. <laughs> just wait. So say for <laughs> if I'm say, underlining like, it for on my sheet. <laughs> Yeah. I can't so wait for, example, for Landon to give me contempt. <laughs> if we end up creating the industrial revolution and having kids work in factories as someone's like answer to their card, um, maybe uh, if we don't like that, we can just take a little contempt token. Contempt. Maybe some somewhere on the map, oh. I'll draw a little box <laughs> and we can put a dot in there. What is the morality that we're playing? What, where, where's everyone coming not, into this? We're not. We know the Just, answer to that. Landon, we, we are gods. We choose the morality. Are you yeah. kidding? I, hey, and that's, I think that's what, but I'm, I'm discussing amongst my gods here of being like, <laughs> yeah. hey, is this so, hardcore rules or what's going no, on? The morality contempt, is plot. Contempt will generally remain in front of players until the end of the game. It will act as a reminder of past tensions. If someone else does something that you support that would mend relationships and rebuild trust, you can discard a contempt token to show that they have helped to heal past tensions. So it's just, it is only a social signifier for like, Should hey, I don't. Face? And then at the end of the game, you'll see how much contempt you had. I'll, I'll just hold it up. I'll hold it up. Don't worry. I got, I got. I mean, I mean, <laughs> we can put a little square on the map and then. Contempt. Just- Contempt, contempt, contempt. I've got a book of stickers. I could stick stickers on my face. Oh my God. I think Karen should stick stickers on it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'll like go get my sticker start book. Start marking it. I don't have anything. I don't have anywhere to go. I'll just start marking my forehead. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. love I'll it. I'll do it. Yeah, right. This was the scariest okay. part of the game, and now it's my favorite. <laughs> I'm going to work tonight. I will not explain to anybody why I have ink on my face. It's fine. That's fine. <laughs> One of your At the start of the game, we'll have one resource in abundance and the rest in scarcity. And ours was game? guides. Mm-hmm. Right. These are okay, guides for interpreting the health of the community. We can add or subtract things from these lists whenever it feels appropriate to do so. Um, projects will probably alleviate uh, scarcities or they will work to make things just not scarce, make them straight resources or even in abundance. Some weekly cards will alter the list. So, getting into this, <laughs> spring is going to be pretty hopeful. Pretty all of the like metaphorical conceptions you have about the seasons go into it. Spring is really hopeful. There's a lot. There's a lot of possibilities. Summer, you really start to focus in. Just the tension of the cards is going to get more and more intense as we get to winter. If the community, yes? I was gonna say, can you make a note uh, thing from the top? So where it says like, there's like a character, one can say like handout or something like that. Uh, And then give me editing access, because if you do that, then I can just make it so we can all have access to a contempt file. That way we don't have to take space on the map. Perfect. Let me do, 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 do. Are we really going with stickers on Karen's face? Because that's going to change yeah, I'm how much that. contempt I had. Yes. I'm doing yes. it. No. Yes. I will also I do it on my hands, but that way I can also. Stickers. I have so many Hello Kitty stickers, you guys. Like, just, okay. Just this is great. Pages. So, so oh, try to make me mad so I put stickers Thank on you. my face. It'll be fun. <laughs> oh, uh, everybody. Uh, you just now give have me editing access. Oh yeah. my gosh, thank you so Somebody's much for moving the follow, it around. Friendo. Thank you, thank you. Why is it moving? Oh my gosh, I can't. I love ah, you, new friend. 20. Um, I, I, I can't get out of the contempt screen because every time I move my mouse, the window moves. Uh-oh. Ooh, Uh-oh. Uh, re- uh, re- refresh? That's going to... Yeah, let me... There we go. Okay, I just minimized it. There we go. Um... Let Yo, I'm gonna grab the window right here. That was right weird. That's it. <clears throat> oh, good job, Lunar. Welcome in, by the oh. way. Um, my my brand new follower. This is a very special stream, but we all yeah. love like role playing and tabletops. 
games here. So even though we don't actually play tabletop games most of the time, this is totally the vibe. So yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, so let me, here we go. Doop, 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 do. Can I, okay. It, where it's, oh, can be edited and controlled by all players. There we go. Okay, so now we have a contempt screen on there. Um, you should be able to click in the window and edit it. Yes, thank you. Good. Okay. Yeah, I don't Ooh. I don't know how to do that, but I'll figure it out if it matters. I'm gonna have stickers on my face, so maybe Landon, you keep up yeah. with my contempt. Yes, I will I will do it. Don't Perfect. Worry. Yeah, because so I, I, I don't see do it. Do we still Delegating. say contempt? Do we still verbalize it? Yes, please okay. verbalize yes. it. That way we can make sure that we're keeping track of that. Um, and then if something happens that you feel would help heal tensions in generally, or if you super support an idea, you give a contempt token back. Okay. When we play The Quiet Year, we must refrain from freewheeling conversations about what to do next. There are specific mechanics in the game for discussing community issues and demonstrating our displeasure. When we play, we must avoid speaking out of turn. I'll try my best. Myself. No promises. Generally, yeah. <clears throat> I, I will I will do my best as the facilitator to keep us on track. <laughs> when we, we play, <laughs> we must avoid. Um, these rules reflect how difficult it is to engage an entire community in conversation, how disagreements tend to linger across weeks or even months. We must also avoid fixating on the story of any single character or set of characters. While interesting figures will emerge, these games are not built to tell stories about any one of these individuals. Instead, this is a game about a community. So we should use named characters to support the larger bird's eye view and not the other way around. So an important reminder. Okay. All right. And now, are you ready? I'm ready That's like the ready. setup. Yeah, we're ready. I'm, I am I'm ready. so excited. I'm there. Okay. Frog card, wait. let's go, let's go. Let's go. All right. Let me. Eh. Okay. Hold one second. Let me shuffle spring. Okay. So now on the, what is this? This is my right, on the right hand side. You should see a little quiet ear picture. Correct? Yes, I see it. Okay. So I am going to click and drag the card onto the map. And that is the first card. And so this is my turn. A charismatic young girl convinces Minnie to help her with an elaborate scheme. What is it? Who joins her endeavors? Start a project to reflect. Or a charismatic young girl tries to tempt Minnie into sinful or dangerous activity. Why does she do this? How does the community respond? So Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Taylor Swift walks up, and no. I'm not naming this character Taylor Swift. I'm just saying oh this God, card please, seems like please, the two the sides of Taylor Swift's criticisms, like the people who like her and the people who don't. It just struck me as Taylor Swift, that's all I'm saying. Okay, so Taylor Swift... Uh, <laughs> You can come up with another name. Sure. There are so no, 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 no please, please, please. It's Taylor Swift now. It's, it is not the real Taylor Swift. This is a redhead. I want to make that very clear. She's a redheaded girl. Her name is just Taylor, and her family is a family of Swift runners. So their last name is Swift. Taylor Swift um, is convincing people to help her with an elaborate scheme. She thinks that, let's see, she noticed that there are cool rocks up on Cookie Dough Walkway, and she wants to get up there. It's really high up, but she thinks we could create a, like a stepped platform up there. We can make a ladder to Cookie Dough Walkway. And 
some of the younger people in the community join her because that's cool. Who doesn't want to be up there? Those are pretty rocks. Let's go get them. Okay, so now I am going to doop, 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 add. There's my roll the table. Nope, that's not what I want. I noticed you didn't go with her leading people to sin. And uh, I'm, I'm yeah, surprised. I'd... Consider me surprised. Rude. <laughs> Wrong, okay. though? No. I, I think that this is going to be a, a large project. So it's going to take five weeks to start building a, a tower ladder up there. And I'm putting, oh, I'm here. Um, oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, okay. Here. I'm so into this. I will you go, Taylor. I will. You, you can do it. We, you've got this. I'm following you. I'm okay. Yeah, I would definitely help build the stairs. Only so, if there was. I'll follow. Sin, I'd follow Taylor Swift anywhere. Uh, yeah, I would so do this. See, right? The younger uh, we are on our way up to Kukita Walkway. So they're building a tower over there. That is the card. That was the first card. There's no project dice to reduce. So now at the end of my turn, I can hold a discussion, discover something new, or start a project. I just did a project. I could start another one. I don't want to. I want to discover something new. And what I have discovered is that down, down kind of by the blight, there is a section of land that looks like it used to be a river. So over here, used to be a river. Why my mouse is starting to break. So it's like a dried, is it like a dry, dried riverbed or is it? It looks like a dried riverbed, but inside of it, they're finding bones. Nobody knows what these bones are because they're in a super weird shape that doesn't look like any animals that they've hunted. It doesn't look like any person's body, whatever, but there's bones there. And that's my turn. So the massive oh. bone coming out of the two balls. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for, um, for granting my wish of a shaft for the balls. <laughs> I thought you would like that. I do really like You're it. Welcome. Okay. The bone drawn in there is now making me so uncomfortable. It hurts. <laughs> it's hurting me. It kind of looks like a long, sad face. You're <laughs> right, did. actually. That's what my familiar is going to look like. <laughs> a long, sad face. Okay. So turn? Landon. Landon. No, Landon. Landon's turn. So Landon should be able to draw a card up onto the map. What group has the highest status in the community? What must people do to gain inclusion into this group? Or are there distinct family units in the community? If so, what family structures are in common? Um, I believe because we were a community that came from two different communities to form one, um that ooh, what should we what should I name them? If you guys have any community names, I'll it, take tell them. us about them and then we, yeah. Well, I think that I think that one was more uh was it was more hunters and were people who lived on the outside and outskirts of what was originally a city before the calamity happened. And uh, they they are like the survivalists and they they were used to maybe moving around. Uh, and then you had escapees from the city that came and the people who survived and met in this area. And so those are the two types of clans that have come together. Uh, I feel that the people that were here first were those who were 
in the rural areas outside of the city. And those are the ones that hold higher status now as they're the ones that are capable of doing things I love uh, more readily. Seen. Bumpkin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we I got like bumpkin. We got Walmart's? bumpkins and we got slickers, city city slickers. Slickers, slickers and yeah. bumpkins. Slickers. Yes. Yeah. So the bumpkins are the and, high status yes. hunter people, right? And the slickers yes. are what you're and saying is like the former city people that are kind of useless. It yes. also sounds a little bit like a bad name to call them. So it's perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh and they're kind of like they're certainly learning, but the bumpkins are the ones that are going to be in charge of uh, the projects and are the ones that know how to navigate this area and they're typically the ones that like discover things and are fine the slickers are the ones that kind of go out and make stupid mistakes to discover things i have a i have a quest oh, oh wait like i'm not supposed to ask questions yet i, I, I sorry. you can I, ask I, clarifying questions it's not a clarifying, clarifying question questions. it'll it'll lead to okay. other things so i'm gonna keep my mouth shut okay good good uh, inside out sam and just as a clarification, Taylor Swift is a bumpkin. Okay, thank course, you. That was my question. Obviously, thank you. <laughs> I just didn't want it to right. launch a whole discussion. Landon knew what Karen needed to know. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So that was my card. Cool. Um, How do you draw that on the map? Um, I'm going to put the. I'm gonna do this. Uh, from where they used to come from from like where they they moved and I'll draw like a little crown next to the bumpkins perfect uh, so that we understand so the bumpkins came from like the southwest and the slickers came from the north have them come from up here the north remembers wow <laughs> not well not oh uh <laughs> they remember the wrong things they remember <laughs> they they don't remember what survival tactics to remember yes they remember chipotle <laughs> <laughs> they miss fondly. it <laughs> fondly remember chipotle, chipotle. always it gets my doesn't. order wrong and i keep going there anyways oh no i know <laughs> How do they get it wrong? They're making it in front of you. They well, I will because we order online and they have to follow the list. Oh. They simply don't. God, I want you yeah. so bad. No. Well, I give it a little bit. Move a few miles away from me, and it is so bad for my wallet because I do truly love Chipotle. Oh my goodness. Okay, so project dice reduce by one, and then Landon, you can. Hold a discussion, start a project, or discover something new. Um, I think uh, we're going to start a project. Okay. Um, I think that a group of slickers are really tired of not having as many familiars as those bumpkins do. And so a group of them are going to go into the blight and go hunting for some familiars. Cool. Um, They're expected to be gone for like a week. A week. Okay. So this is going to resolve next turn. Okay. Fantastic. Who is? It is Jane's turn. Me now. Um, Have we done the thing yet? I choose any of the the spring ones, right? Mm-hmm. You just click and drag that little card. Dragon. You you do not pick from the list on the right hand side. So now, close Kane, are down. Are you looking at the stream? I can point to no. it if you're okay. No, okay. I can look at the so, stream. Yeah, because if yes. you look, I put my mouse on where you're supposed to click. Is this guy, and then you drag it so that we can all read it, like this right here. My stream's super far behind, so it's actually not helpful. Oh, no. <laughs> it'll, get there, it'll get there in a second, though. Yeah, this, I can pull a card. Corner? Do you oh, want to pull oh. it? Do you see yeah, it's pull this it guy? for me. Pick anything. Pull it for well, me. Well, I don't pick. I don't see what they are. I just click and drag, and it pops up because I, the deck is shuffled. So we don't know what we're picking. 
Like, there's Did a you think that we just corner. picked those cards? So here, Jane. This is Jane's card. Jane Thank got you. Queen Ooh. of Spring. What's the most beautiful thing in this area? Or what's the most hideous thing in this area? Hmm. Hmm. The most beautiful thing is, nope, that already, uh, the most beautiful thing is uh, there's magic dust up on uh, Cookie Dough Walkway, which is actually, that's just like a sound alike. It's probably more like Cookie Dough because <laughs> that's what this thing is. It's like a, a magic dust up in the air, right? Because the Cookie Dough thing's up in the air and it's blowing around. So when you look up at it, it, it makes the cookie dough walkway like shimmer, shimmer, glimmer. Lisa Frank. That's what it looks like. Yes. Lisa Frank. Cookie Love dough it. walkway. Perfect. Okay. So that goes down. Project dice deuce. So Landon, what do the slickers find? In the, are they able to do that? Can I use dice to determine that? I, you're not supposed to. Okay, then I won't. It, at the um, end of a project, it is considered successful, but what that success is differs. It doesn't have to be success. And like, well, yeah, they do. It could be a, well, they come back with stuff, but it's not right. Yeah, I think half of them come back with, they maybe have one familiar, but only half return. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. So I we're missing it. half of the people that went out. Listen, it's dangerous out there. Yeah, they're just slickers. So, okay. All right. Cool. Slickers got got smaller. And now is this where I do the, one of the three things? And it is now your turn to do one of the three things. And that is discover something new, start a discussion, or start a project start a project um the project i'm going to start is um we're going to start getting purple clay out okay but we, we have to make a bunch of fire hardened tools to do that and only the bumpkins know how to do this so the project is teaching slickers to make fire hardened tools and mm. like making them at the same time so it's like okay a, te a teach along so it's making getting tools starting the process of mining yeah, making fire hardened okay. tools in order to teach the slickers how to do it. Because I feel like mining the clay is going to take for freaking ever. And you said it can happen in phases. It can so happen in phases. If you're going to mine That's clay, so... you better have good freaking tools. So, okay. got to make those so, first. This is going to take two weeks. Two weeks? Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Because, because the bumpkins know what they're doing. So, they, they know what they're doing. They've yeah. done this before. Quality over speed. Yep. Okay. All right. Kitty. It is your turn. Look at that. That took two minutes. Jane, see, we can do this. Oops, mm. I made a line. How did I? <laughs> That's okay. Oh, God. That, that happens. <laughs> I, you gotta you select to, it. Yeah, you need to uh, switch your, your arrow there you go. from, yeah. There, thank you. You're welcome. A young boy starts digging in the ground and discovers something unexpected. What is it? Or an old man confesses to past crimes and atrocities? What has he done? This is such a good card. All right, sorry, shut up. <laughs> the cards are mm. so cool. Okay. The old man is a oh. bumpkin. Okay. He was, What's his name? Um, name him. Old man. Not That's his enough. name. Kitty. Not good enough. <laughs> his no. name is Old Man. As, as, as a baby. Old Manual. Like do something. Kitty, I've who's been the guy that does the Pepper Farm remembers memes. Who, who's okay, the whistler? So old, guy? It, when he was a baby, his parents named him Old. <laughs> <laughs> um, Humperdinck. Humperdinck. Hum okay. Humperdinck. <laughs> so Humperdinck. <laughs> so we have Taylor Swift and we have Humperdinck. Good. Humperdinck is like basically the oldest you can be, as far as we know. Great. And this I'm not gonna establish man. I'm not gonna establish what that age is. Just super old. Um, from the bumpkins, and he confessed that as a kid, 
him and his little gang of friends gathered up a bunch of familiars and killed them. No, no, no. And buried That's them. That's so good. Where the purple clay deposit is now, which was not there before the murders. Dun, dun, dun. The Hopper Dink strikes again. Oh, no. <laughs> His little gang dinkers. Okay. That is so good. I'm scared of you. <laughs> it's an atrocity. It is an atrocity. You're right. Nobody likes this going. man now. His friends are probably like, what the fuck, dude? You could have just yeah. kept that to yourself forever. You don't have <laughs> that much longer. <laughs> uh, we can't have a discussion because I actually... Oh, sorry, to- sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. just the- too good. Okay. So, so, Kitty, um... The, the slickers coming back with the familiar is what made him, like, realize how bad this was. So he's, like, sobbing and saying, like, I was so wrong. Okay, you want to draw some sad face over by the purple clay deposit yeah represented on our map <laughs> cool free hand we'll make him like a sad blue sad sad okay all right project dice are going down okay this is hands such around a his big head. person <laughs> That he's giant. I don't know. He's a giant. <laughs> just we're not. We're be. not. We're not doing anything to scale. It's fine. <laughs> we we can imagine a normal eyes. people size in our, yeah. in yes. our hearts. Oh my it's god! A zo- a it's a zoom in. Are the bumps zoom in. Cyclops? Oh darn it! <laughs> <laughs> I want Cyclops is so bad. Cyclops is sexy. You cannot convince me they're not. Okay, I you can find Cyclopes. If I knew how to undo, that's what that would be. It. Here, I'll just make one giant. Do you have? You can select like the little triangle select thing. Oh, or that, or hit Control that S, works. or you can do that. <laughs> or that. Okay, so Humperdink is a, a cyclops. Cool. Oh, and he's crying. <laughs> uh, not oh. usable water. Not usable water. No, not usable water. No, salt water. Absolutely not. Straight up salt water. No, thank you. For him. Not a resource. (laughs) Okay, Kitty, would you like to... um, Wow, would you like to start a project or discover or have a discussion? Um, We can have a discussion about what we think. If Do we think that this is where the purple clay came from? or unrelated okay so now you, when we dig for it are we finding bones so you are opening the discussion with a question then yeah okay so your question is is this where the purple clay came from all right i'm going down there, the line so oh sorry Karen. we have to go in order oh i i okay yep. i do go next okay you are after so Katie. There, um, so I'm going to represent a family of bumpkins that is known for having like a familiar ranch. Like that's the main thing that they do is, um, is help people take care of their familiars, you know, treat them when they're sick, things of that nature. Um, so I'm representing that family. They absolutely want the purple clay investigated further before we do any more mining this is now potentially a graveyard and we can't just like go in willy-nilly now that we know this okay my turn your turn uh my turn i think that we're going to mine it anyway so we might as well just look at it landed your turn i represent some slickers who believe that if this is where the purple clay comes from due to the importance of the purple clay in our society we should consider this what that means and how and this is a solution to get more purple clay since our uh our deposit is running low oh wow Jane. Is it, is it my turn? First of all, I'd <laughs> like to go ahead and say that I don't remember us representing a certain voice in discussions was even part of this, but I like you the can. direction. 
oh, you are okay, allowed okay. to represent a, a certain I love that. faction or a certain person. I actually loved it more when I thought we were making it up. But um, I'm going to represent nothing. I'm just going to say that Purple Clay, while it may not be because the familiar corpses were left there, um, something may have happened to the clay. You know what I'm saying? It might not be from the familiars, but the familiars might have done something to it. Okay. Kitty, you are allowed to make one statement. One statement. Um... You opened with a question, so now you are able to make the final statement in this discussion. Yeah, I feel like you guys said so many good things about it. I don't know. Is she supposed to make a decision, like a, a resolution nope. to the discussion, or she just makes a statatement? She just makes a statement. Okay. There's no resolution. Okay, so you don't have to decide discussion. anything if you don't want to. Okay. Can I represent a small section within the Slickers yes. that used to be scientists? Mm. And they're coming at yeah. it from the same way that Landon's people did, but from like, can we just bring the familiars near it and do some experiments and see how they react to it? Some respectful okay. archaeology. Respectful Trying to be like the peaceful <laughs> middle ground. <laughs> respectful <Okay>. archaeology <laughs> is a thing uh, that maybe exists. Cool. Karen, I'm just, I'm just wondering <laughs> if the people you represent hold any contempt for um, the concept of oh, okay so yeah um, yeah since that is the the final the final statement and uh and you know it does seem like the people uh that are like saying let's not touch the purple clay for a second are in the minority i definitely have some contempt in this situation um okay that's going to be represented by uh by Stand this very angry Stand penguin up. right here yes an <laughs> angry penguin yes. yeah i have an angry penguin I can't remember the character's name, but here we go. Contempt, That's contempt. Fun. Good. First contempt token. Yes. <sighs> this is so fun. All right. Unhappy. Karen, it it's is my your turn. turn. Okay, time to fuck some shit up. Let's go. <laughs> Probably will. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where's my card? Okay, an old piece of machinery is discovered broken, but perhaps repairable. What is it? What would, it be, what would it be useful for? Or an old piece of machinery is discovered cursed and dangerous. How does the community destroy it? Um, okay, so old piece of machinery. We haven't really done anything with machines yet, so I'm like, I'm taking a second just to kind of think about it. Oh, fair. Okay, so shelter is one of our resources, right? So they, yep. they find a piece of machinery um, that that used to be used to build like strong foundations for houses. It's super broken. Um, so they find it like way like on the, the edge, maybe it's in the hunting lands or something. So they find it there. Uh, they realized that they might be able to repair it. And if they did, they'd actually be able to solve kind of the issue that they've got right now where they don't quite have awesome. enough shelter for everybody. Awesome. Okay. Draw it on the map. Okay. Draw it on the map. Okay. I'd be so shocked that something wasn't cursed when given the option. That is baffling. Well, I just didn't come up with a good cursed idea. Okay, so the the machine is over here. So it's like, let's get some like smoke coming out of it because it's like really, it's really old and like decrepit. Okay. So it's like all broken. All right. Yeah. How did y'all type? Where's the text? Oh, I found it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Box reduce. Jane, how did the making tools go? Uh, you know, slickers, dumbasses, but they're getting the hang of it. And we made a fuck ton of tools. And because we had so many people trying to learn, we got a bunch of junky ones, but we also have a bunch of good ones. So 50-50 okay. shot, whether or not you're <laughs> digging out clay with something that's going to work. Awesome. Okay, that tower is getting taller. Okay, so now it's, it's, I get to do one of those three things. 
Now you get okay. to do one of those things. So it's things. discussion, project, or what was the other one? Discover something? Discover something. Okay, so I think this counts as a project. So okay. um, the the rancher family of bumpkins that help that like is really part of the familiar economy in this town. Um, they mm-hmm. organize a protest. They really don't like that slickers are also now involved in mining. Like it's too many miners. Like there's too much of this going on. Um, they they manage to rally uh, a few other groups of bumpkins and even a few slickers. And now they're just making things really really hard for anybody that tries to go uh, to the purple clay deposits, their goal is for everybody to sit down and have a conversation so that they can actually put some kind of quota um, on the purple clay mining and get some research going on instead of just like everybody just kind of like doing whatever. Um, We need some regulations around this and they're not going to be happy until we have some. Okay. So you that's you said that was a project? I I guess would that be a project? A protest? That sounds to me it sounds like you discovered a protest to me. Okay. All right, we can do it as a discovery. I don't uh, I, I don't like, really know if they're but that's like what they handcuffing do. themselves to things. It could be a project. Yeah. yeah. Like a if they were building a wall around the purple or if clay they deposit. Were, yeah, or they were destroying the purple clay deposit or something if like that. If they were destroying the tools. Oh, they would be destroying the tools. We could do that. Maybe okay. they're going in and destroying the the tools that they're building or trying to destroy them as fast as they're making new tools. Okay. Rude. That's absolutely so. We were for two weeks right. on those. <laughs> uh, how, how long do you think that they go at it? How many um, I think they spend a, a good two weeks just like constantly destroying the tools that get that keep okay. getting made. So we will see how that project you finish. You know how long these take? Oh my god, I'm so mad at them. Two weeks. <laughs> contempt. It sounds like contempt. Yeah, contempt. there you go. It sounds like Jane it sounds like contempt. you can take contempt. <laughs> contempt, contempt, contempt. Okay. I want, I want a good Jane sticker. has taken contempt. Wait, hold on. Karen's only putting her own contempt. Stickers yeah, face. yeah. You need it. I can. I, I got I'll no pass stickers. the stickers through. Do the you have internet. a? Mark got, on your hand that you could put. I've got a chocolate bar and fingernail polish remover. Oh, <laughs> um, no! I don't I know that you those. have. I one know that ear. you had a bunch of hoodies on, like had hoodies and jackets playing on. Maybe you can put one on uh, <laughs> for each contempt. <laughs> for every contempt. <laughs> um, I already have two on, so I'll I'll just keep this one on. Contempt. I also okay, have a hat, great. so I'll use head. <laughs> oh, so we have three potential more. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it is my turn, and it's spring. Where does everyone sleep? Who is unhappy with this arrangement and why? Or what natural predators roam this area? Are you safe? The first question to Kendra uh, is so unsafe. This is a bad question for Kendra. I also Both have... of these questions are so unsafe for Kendra. <laughs> no, nah, this one specifically, I'm worried. I'm worried. <laughs> okay. I think so much fun. Lunar. Yeah, that is. This is really fun. Lunar just howled. She's trying to sway you. I don't know if you can see the chat. <laughs> wolf, you realize Lunar that's no, going to get Lunar, no. Kill. I know. I know what would happen if I said wolves. I'm not doing hey, that. The wolves are going to get murdered. Bad We're idea. We're not doing that here. <laughs> um, okay. So a bunch I of broken tools. That- Okay, I think that the uh, natural predators that roam this area are these, they look like chickens. If chickens were five feet tall and also had uh, like teeth, like shark teeth. Oh my God, we have mini chabocobos, mini vicious chabocobos. And they roam this area. Uh, we are kind of safe. That is something that we should probably work on. But they come from up up north. These angry birds. <laughs> These big angry birds come from up north. And they are not super happy. 
There's so many questions in my head about what they could be. Right. I'm not saying something right now. And I just want applause for that. Big for <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> proud of you. I love how we have um, Chibokabos and Pokemon in, on, and <laughs> and we have the, the Mario walkway all in this game. This is amazing. You know who we are. Yeah. yeah there's, different, okay. there's different aesthetics happening with this world. That's all. Fine. They, but they all are together. As sexy Cyclopses. I'm here. Yes. Uh, yeah, right? Okay, okay, so old man. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Project Dice reduce. Uh, Taylor Swift. Oh, this game is stupid. <laughs> it's Taylor with an E. Yeah. Oh, um, Taylor's version. Uh, <laughs> oh, I spelled it like Taylor, like you go to a Taylor, like oh, a Taylor. Yeah, a Taylor like that. Swift. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, is Swift Taylor. So Taylor Swift's tower completes, and it's giant. It's a multi. It's like five stories tall. Nobody has seen a building this tall before. Uh, unfortunately for them, it's about halfway up. Mm. Sounds so they will have to. Sounds like a sinful walkway. Mm-hmm. My mouse is super. Yeah, no, it's perfect. That's a beautiful. Yes, because yeah, no, reach it's great the whole way. I love it. That. Doesn't reach the whole way, but it it's a good jumping off point. They made the largest man-made structure anybody has ever seen. Taylor's amazing. Okay. Taylor is amazing. She could, she she could do can. anything. She can. <laughs> okay. That's, so that's now OSHA safe, though. <laughs> probably isn't. There's no handrails on the stairs. <laughs> it's just the Tower of Babel going up. Uh, all right. So we can hold it. I can. It's my turn. I am going to start another project uh, about these birds. Somebody got murdered by a bird, and they've decided now that it is time to start fortifying the shelter. Mm. They are going to start building a wall, a big fence around where most of the house... Can you please... Most of the fences are. Most of the fences. Where most of the broken things are. And that's going to be a good four weeks. They're really focused in on getting a contained living space. Smart. Yeah, I sure hope we don't want to be murdered by these giant five foot tall birds. I if like I saw a chicken to be murdered by them, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. He's not in the fence. If I saw a five foot tall bird, I would run. Like I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> just no. Yeah, I okay. think I would be. I would be terrified into paralysis. I think I would just stare at it. That would be horrifying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, and that's how they do do murder. Mm-hmm. So it is Landon's turn. Um. All right. Are there children in the community? If there are, what is their role in the community? Or how old are the eldest members of the community? What unique needs do they have? Um, there are children in the community and they are uh, going to like a school type situation. There's only a few. Um, where they're they're learning the needs uh, taught by the bunkins of how to survive in the forest and how to farm and how to uh, take care of the areas around town. They do not ever leave the shelter area, but they're prob- they're in a daily kind of program. Okay, outdoor school. Neat. Yeah, an outdoor school. Um, I'll draw mm, a little sorry. school. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. It is I'm a sorry forest school. school. Um, well, I replaced my mouse battery. Maybe that'll fix it. Well, Kendra, I think when right. we finish spring, we should take a stretch break anyway. So maybe you can replace yeah. the battery then. Oh, I already did. Oh, okay, good. Yep. Yeah. I've got my battery pack right here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you were saying you need to go get one. 
No, I might just go get a different mouse. Oh, I okay. can find one, but yeah. Um. Okay. Mm-hmm. All of the projects go down. Yes. So, Karen, how uh, ha- what happens with that tool destruction? Okay. Yeah, what so, happens, Karen. So. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously them destroying the tools is like really pissing off their a lot of their fellow bumpkins um but they do manage to convince the group of like slicker scientists that wanted to do the ethical archaeology that some better ethical archaeology would be to um exhume some of the uh bones that are likely at the bottom and uh run some tests on those to try to figure out what's going on to see if like it's okay to still be really uh mining the purple clay so now there's a little there's like there's a little bit of excavation going on by those slicker scientists and that family of bumpkins is going to work with them to try to figure this out okay awesome successful i would like to start a discussion okay um as Many of the bumpkins and many of the slickers were upset by this bumpkin family's actions on acting on behalf of their own needs rather than the betterment of the community. What is it that we should do when there is a minority group in our community that acts against the betterment of the full community? Okay. Jane. Great question. Oh, wait, me? Uh, yep. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to represent the bumpkins and back in our day, you know, when, when we were yeah. handling things, the, the way that, you know, how it always works out for us because we know what we're doing, you know, like relative to the slickers. So uh, our take is basically you walk that person towards the void. And if they haven't, uh, resolved or like apologized or like come to an agreement before you get to the void you're out that's my take hey kitty uh i think that we are in a survival community and not representing any specific person, but just um, it, we're kind of at a point where the strongest are surviving. So whether you're a small group or a big group, if you're um, able to make something happen, maybe you're meant to be the person that makes things happen. Ooh. Oh. Hey, Karen. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go with like the general vibe of how the slickers are feeling. So just like Jane was saying back in the bumpkin day, there's some slickers that are saying that, you know, in the city, we would have like these monthly um, councils where people could come and all give their voice and uh, certain things would be voted on like we had rules and stuff for this. Um, and, uh, and then ultimately, like a mayor would decide Um, so maybe, maybe we should actually have a real government. Maybe we're big enough for that. Okay. Uh, the oldest, most hunched over lady you have ever seen in your life. She looks like she would give you cookies and she has a floral apron on. She comes up to the front and she goes, I saw a salmon get turned inside out when it went halfway up that waterfall. I said, we just toss them. <laughs> Landon, you opened with a question. You get a statement. An older, a, a like middle-aged bumpkin man who has, uh, that, that I feel is very well known amongst the community. Um, his name is Batman. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. So, um, what does Batman say? Uh, he believes that hearing many of the discussions that has 
been said uh, that the town should make it the highest priority to come up with the idea of what leadership looks like and how we are going to rule as a community. Because without community, uh, we are orderless and no better than the things that we hunt. All right. Jane, it is your turn. Oh, Jane just had to step away. <laughs> it looks <Uh-oh>. like. <laughs> Do you want me to draw four? Oh, no, you're still there. Um, My husband's car is like not working. So I'm going to step away for five minutes oh, and no. talk it through with okay. him and then I'll be back. I'll draw Good the luck. card. I'll draw the card for you. How do y'all want to handle? You just want to skip like, my oh. turn, and then when I come back, I'll just jump yeah. in. Whatever okay. turn is next. Okay. Okay. Kitty. Okay. I like that. Okay. Uh, there's a large body of water on the map. Where is it? What does it look like? There's a giant man-made structure on the rat uh, map, not the rat. Where is it? Why is it abandoned? Um. I think we have a lot of water, so I feel like we need to have a you structure can add from the old different days. water. <laughs> Non-cursed water. No, you don't have to. <laughs> that is we an We already option. have cursed water and a magic well. What else do we need, guys? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but gi- um, a giant man-made structure on the map that is abandoned is also cool. Mm-hmm. So why? Where and why? Sorry to interrupt. Uh, I gotta go. Oh, oh man. bye, James. Sorry, bye, guys. James. It's okay. it's okay. See you later. We love you. Love you. Um, I'll never get those contempt tokens back. Nope. Yeah. Darn. That's okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say that there is. Can it be an amusement park, or does it have to be like one thing? giant man-made structure okay then we'll have like an amusement park from when we used to be an actual society so it'll be near where the slickers lived okay um and maybe the angry birds took that over so we can't <laughs> literally we wanted to i literally <laughs> just had that same thought i was like maybe the angry <laughs> birds took it over they're I they can't. they really like the booths i don't yeah. know yeah Let's get that in there. The Angry Birds used to be pigeons. Uh, and oh they my took god, over yes. and right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm adding to the lore. I know I'm not supposed to, but it's too good. <laughs> I can't I love that. believe you. Okay. They draw, it down, draw it on. This whole area is like the fence for the amusement park. And then. Uh, do like a roller coaster. Six flags. It's a dilapidated six flags. Yes. Okay. So that structure is haunted wheel. by ghosts and angry birds. Can there be clown ghosts? That, that's not like a part this. of my card. Why are you like this? <laughs> okay. So you can discover a... something, uh, do a project, or hold a discussion. Project dice have been reduced. Okay, I would like to discover something. Is it a, a ghost clown? It is not a ghost clown. It's actually an idea okay. I had before that I kept forgetting to say on my one other turn. Yep. Um, the dis- the familiars have taught us telepathy, and oh, if shit. you are bonded to a familiar. You have access to hearing all of the telepathy. If you don't have a familiar, you could only hear the telepathy that, between you and the person you're talking to. Um, just just quick question. So hive mind ish. So it's if a you have a familiar, line. if you have a familiar, you get to be a part of the hive mind and hear everything. But if you don't have a familiar, then you are just granted the ability to have telepathy with whoever you're talking to. Because Can it you came turn from it on the familiars. Um, or are you constantly hearing? Hmm. How loud is shit going to get? 
I'm going to say that you can tune in like CB radio. You can okay. turn it on. You can turn it off. Um, in this, and if this goes too far, then I'm sorry. In this discovery, do we discover that the familiars have different thoughts or are they more like traditionally hive mind that we are now being introduced to? Yeah, I'm going to say that they're they're connected, like they're individual personalities and, and lives, but they like share a collective thought. magic thought process. Hey. Okay. okay. That's awesome. Man, our familiars are Aaron. really cool. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Okay. It's my yes, turn. Yes, it is your turn. All right. Draw my card. Okay. Uh, no, nope, we just oh, did that one. one. How do I get? Re- okay. You did it. Okay. Yep. Draw another card. Okay. There is a disquieting legend about this place. What mm. is it? Or alarming weather patterns destroy something. How and what? <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Um, okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Um, all right. So all of a sudden, oh, by the way, since we now have six flags in my mind, the city slickers came from dilapidated Atlanta and the bumpkins oh, came good. from the North Georgia, from the, the hills of Georgia, right? I love um, that. So, Cause yes. six flags is really good. just outside of Atlanta. So I like, I like this. Okay. Um, there's a disquieting legend about this place. What is it? Um, so there is a legend about the void that um, if you hunt inside of the void, that's where the um, the best game is. But that game uh, can't be eaten outside of the void. So like you have to eat it inside the void. It goes bad when it's pulled out. Um, so there is a lot of, um, of, uh, trepidation about like where exactly they should hunt in the hunting lands and if something is void or not void. What is, is the, is the void also like black and white, like the blight or is that unique to the blight? Um, I originally was thinking the void was like, not like sucking you in black hole, but like it just like, like it pushes it's just out, empty right? Space. It's just empty. Okay. Empty space. Is that what we had or are there animals in the void? There's I'm the trying to remember lands. from the beginning. The like hunting around lands it. are around the it, but lands, the void is just uh, nothing. We also just haven't discovered. Mm-hmm. Like maybe there is stuff in the void and we just yeah. can't see it. Maybe yeah. things yeah. are coming out of the void. Maybe. Whoa. So I, I think don't that too. It's I think we hole. have like a we have a, a, a some kind of legend and uh, the of like creatures that are in the void. Okay. I can so, see yeah. that being alluring because you're hungry. Yeah. 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 And like they're edible creatures. It's not familiars. But they haven't been able to get any yet. Okay. So I'm supposed right. to represent that, right? Yes. Okay. While you do that, I'm lowering the, the fence. Spooky eyes. Great. Well, it's got like, it's got like love horns, it. horns and then angry eyes. Oh, okay, I love it. And then, yes. Oh, my God, I love it. <laughs> oh, how cute. There we go. It's That's, amazing. There's a monster in the void. <laughs> okay. All right. So I reduced the project dice, and now you can take your action. Okay. Um... So did we say that the Six Flags is haunted? Like, that's the reason? It, it's yeah, the a, angry birds yeah. that was fl- that was flavor if you want to make it haunted you can okay <laughs> um so i think that there's a discovery um okay. for for the the ghosts so um you know it's like it's like a teenage thing like oh it's haunted over there there's scary birds like let's get as close as we can ha ha um uh-huh. but they yeah but they discover that um if you have an object made of the purple clay that that can actually kill the ghosts that are haunting the six flags oh so that puts our purple clay back up and like we really want this shit. yeah yeah it's helpful okay. it's helpful for yeah. the ghosts maybe they can actually deal with the problem of uh of that area okay that's super cool 
right. Ah! Oh. Is that... Come here. Is your mouse still going crazy? Uh, yeah, uh, ooh, weird. Okay. There we go. Um, this is the last card in spring. Ooh. Yep. So we hit it. There's another community somewhere on the map. Where are they? What sets them apart from you? Or what belief or practice helps unify your community? I, I feel like we've been pretty divided. And I think that at the end of the day, what everybody can agree on, what is unifying, is that they have discovered over their, you know, however many week, 13 week thing that they've done, is that they both worship, they both praise the same uh, entity. And they have a little money. <laughs> it's a bird god. <laughs> they love a bird god. So they have started to, along with that outdoor school over there, they have started uh, discussions on building a new church for their bird god. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, my mouse is still going wild. So this is... The unique that's not the, a church. Nope, that's just uh, where they've kind of set some stakes in the ground to build a church. <laughs> Very esoteric. So yep. is is it? Like, I have like a question. It. Is it like a bird Jesus, or is it like a bird creator God? Like what is it? It is like a bird. Uh, not not like a bird Jesus, and not a bird creator God. But more like a bird mother god. Like all mother praise goose. she <laughs> she feeds she feeds the she feeds the she children. She sat on our egg until we hatched. Mm -hmm. Jesus. May okay. her tail feathers warm us. I love this. I love. Okay. So we've got bird mommy god. Bird mommy god. <laughs> okay. And that is what is starting to mend some tensions between bumpkins and slickers. They Ruffling come from different feathers. places. But they all um, worship the same deity. So they're trying. They're trying to kind of make up now. All right. And the fence project is completed. And it went pretty well. They they got a nice set of like farm fences. It's not a full wall. And it won't it does keep out the angry birds though, because the angry birds are too big to fly. So what they have done is they have done an eight foot fence kind of all the way around. They don't like the Bone River. And they want the broken house builder. So they have built this giant fence. And they're going to live in here. I just love the concept of the Angry Birds being too big to fly. But then the game Angry Birds popped into my head. And I was like, they're building catapults. <laughs> Just go mm -hmm. next. Mm -hmm. Get over the mm -hmm. wall. Mm -hmm. Why do you think I made them too big to fly? Come on now. I'm setting you up. The birds are I'm, I'm setting you up for some some spikes. Let's go. Oh my god. All right, Kendra, okay. is there any like wrap up spring activities to do? Or do we just nope, supposed to start? It. We okay guys. We go on to summer. So, so go I'm gonna to call summer. a five minute stretch break, y'all. So cool. um so okay, so let me get this set up for the stream um so that they can have something fun to watch while uh while we take our quick break that was really fun so far oh my god yeah, it's a really fun game it's yeah. been great so far i'm i'm so excited Glad. i'm so excited we have a good it's going to get really angry tense. birds um we've got some we've still got some tension between the factions the, oh yes yeah. oh okay. yes there are oh yeah 
All right, y'all watching the stream, we're gonna we're gonna put some funny videos on for you guys while we take a five minute stretch break. So we will be back very soon to play through um, all of the other seasons. So see you in a moment. Here we go.